Hello all, uh, welcome to my MJB channel. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, mainly about how we uh, model half adder using MATLAB Simulink. Okay, we not only model the half adder, but also we will test, we create a test harness and also we will test the uh, model which we have created by using Simulink. Okay, in this one, first we need to know the requirements. Okay, for the requirements, I have got, uh, I have prepared a simple document in which it has a uh, block diagram of half adder this is the first section is the block diagram of the half adder in which it has a and b as inputs and sum and carry as outputs okay the second section is the logic diagram in which it has uh, in logic diagram we uh, it has used one AND gate and one XR gate okay and the third section is the truth table in which uh, um, we can how the half adder should be here if the input a is 0 b is 0 sum should be 0 carry should be 0 similar way how if we vary the input how the output is getting varied okay these are the requirements okay i have created like five requirements based on this model how we create the half adder okay in which now this is the requirement document okay now created a folder here this is our matlab uh, MATLAB software I have opened it and before starting that I have created a folder with the same name what I will do is I will right click on the folder on the left hand side which is the current folder yeah. uh, a pop-up window will open up I will have done like select folder sense of folders so that whatever the models are here or any model or scripting present here it is easily um, recognized by the MATLAB okay this is the command window where we can type some commands it will execute this is the workspace window. I'm going to open the start the MATLAB model. Okay, uh, we'll choose a blank model to start our model. Okay, I have taken, I have selected the create a blank model. Okay, create a Okay, uh, we have opened the blank model. Uh, in this one, we have library browser on the top. We have the menu, debug mode, modeling, format, everything on the top. And before starting our model, I will better save this one because uh, it is untitled we'll save it we'll make it as a uh, save as okay we'll go to save as okay then this one i will save it in the same um, folder okay with name okay half order that's all with the same name here this half order okay and then uh, we need two input two input uh, ports two output ports one and gate and one xr gate okay these are the blocks we need to do that we can do it in two ways one is we can go to the library browser okay uh, and the library browser it has like common blocks here okay we can has like input port output port we can do uh, we can right click add to model we can do in this way or this is one method or uh, the better way is like just we can type it as well we can type it by using the name okay if we double click on the window okay this is one way and this can do like add and for add we have got one input port and one output port and paste okay this is two inputs same way control press control right uh, click and lift it okay we have made two inputs we will make the port name on 
go to the block right click format go to the show block on okay you can do the same here as well right click format show block on okay i will rename it as a and i will rename it as b okay these are the inputs and i will do the same for the output as well right click format okay on right click format on i will name it as sum this one is carry okay and we have created two inputs and two outputs we need and gate and xor gate okay to the to do that i have showed you like one way is we can go to the library and right click and say add to the uh, half adder which is the name of the window model window in here this is the other way where you can just type it okay just logic logic operator okay so if i name it just uh, okay and i will just logical operator uh, yeah we got and get a similar way if you want other gate just control click and release okay we need one and get and one uh, xor gate okay this and gate is okay you have to double click on this um, and gate it will open up a pop-up window and uh, on the main tab you select whichever gate you want like in the operator this is like a universal gate universal gate we can select whichever gate we want for our uh, requirement we need one xor gate and press apply okay in the icon we can change it like a distinctive or rectangular for now i am using the rectangular only okay. these are the two and this this is xor gate and end gate and we need to connect uh, the inputs and the outputs now output ports we connect the xor gate in this way first inputs are connected to the a and second input are connected to the b this is sum and this is carry okay we arrange it nicely and then um, to we need to create a system subsystem select all then press create subsystem okay once you create a subsystem okay once you have created we have to create a subsystem so that the logic will go inside it will not uh, it will not look like scattered everything is scattered okay we make it look nice and tidy okay arrange it properly okay and name is as half adder okay this is our model now the model is ready now and uh, better you have to do a control d to compile if there are any errors it will, it will show up press control d good practice to do a control d whenever you update any model okay our model is ready now we need to create a test harness to test the model whether it is working or not okay to do that what we have to do what i will do is i will name it as save as okay i will name it as test test harness okay to do that we need to go to the library and we need to go ports and subsystem we need to take a model okay this block is for referencing okay referencing our uh, block what i will do is i will delete old one okay double click on the model block and browse the model okay in the same folder you have to put the half adder and the test harness the same folder i am going to give a model name apply these are like uh, simulation modes we have acceleration accelerated mode um, sill and pin we'll just use normal for, them for, for now okay this is our test harness i will name it as test test harness okay we name it as test harness then we need a signal injector or signal builder to input the signals and also we need a scope okay we'll do a scope type the scope and press enter and uh, we need four inputs okay we'll make it a little bit bigger okay and we need a signal builder signal builder is a block which can give you um, like we can vary the input signals okay we can inject the signals this is the signal builder by default it will give you only one signal okay uh, double click on the signal builder it will come up with uh, uh, signals okay i will name this one as what i will do is i will take constant signal one and take one more signal okay i don't need this signal what i will do is i will delete it first signal okay okay this is signal two i will name this one as the signal as on the left hand side in the name rename it to a and select that signal name and signal 3 name it as b and press enter okay this is group 1 we can 
if you want to test it like we have created four requirements now i will create four test cases to go to the group uh, press rename okay and rename it as test case one case one case one and press center okay and this is test case one what we can do is go to the group to make uh, create a copy just you have to go to the group copy it will create test case two go to the group copy it will create test case three go to the group the test case four okay go to test case one two three four okay we have created four test cases now we have to connect the signals input signals and output signals okay yeah Connect out signals. Connect A and B. Okay. Save it. As I told you, press Control D if you change any modifications in the model. Press Control plus G. It will compile. This is the shortcut. Okay. It is compiled. Uh, it is showing error. Two errors it is showing okay data type mismatch port one output of header is a signal type of data double and however it is driving boolean okay in this one to reduce this by default signal builder will give you double but uh, our model of header need a boolean input okay we need a data type converter here okay for that there is a block in symbolic called data type converter which need to be placed in between here okay just what i will do is i will type data type okay this is a data type converter yes no. create a control i click okay and we need to change the converter type from here this is output data type we can select from double single half int uh, unsigned int okay we need only the boolean okay Select the boolean, press OK, and the same applies to this one. Boolean, press OK. Okay, this is now our model is ready, and we need to write the names A, keep the names in the signals, this B input, and this is sum. Okay, and this is carry. Okay, then I will press save and press Ctrl D, then I will compile it. Now it is working fine. Our test harness model is ready. Now we have to do the testing. Okay. Uh, uh first test case is selected okay we we'll look at the output scope output okay uh, view we need to select the layout layout we need to select the four because we have four signals you know two input and two output signal. okay this is our four signals uh, press run okay. okay now it is yeah it is showing our output signal input is a is zero b is zero sum is zero carry is zero First requirement has fulfilled. Next, we go to the test case number two. Okay, run this test case number two. I will change. Sorry, I need to change one. I need to change the test case. Select the A and change the Y as one. One zero. Okay, press enter. Okay, this is test case number two. Okay, one zero. One zero. A is one. B is zero. Sum is one. Zero. Uh, carry is zero. Okay, we select the test case number three now. Okay, we go in here, select the B. We need to bake from zero to one. Okay, now zero one inputs are zero, and we'll check the output is behaving. Press run. Okay, and we can check here. Here, if you look at here, zero one sum is input A is zero, B is one, sum is uh, one, and carry is zero. Okay, and we'll take the last test case, which is we have to change A as one and B as one as well. A is one okay b is also as one okay i saved it on this one okay yeah one one uh, some a is one b is one sum is zero carry is one that means our model is working okay uh, we have created separate test cases okay we can do it in a single as well in a in a single mm, test case we can run all the four test cases as well for that i am doing i am creating one more copy we will create a test case file okay in here the timing is 0 to 10 10 seconds okay on the x axis and y axis is the 
whether we select zero or one type okay and here we can do it like for example for from for the one second we make it zero zero for the two to three we make it zero one and from five to six we make it one zero and seven to eight we make it one one a is one b is one okay to do that what i will do is i will make first make this uh, a as zero okay press enter and make b as also zero select b y zero okay and here to select exactly one point you have to press select the a button okay this is zero zero we leave it we test it from here from two to three okay we make it a as one to do that select at a point and at exactly two press shift and click it once okay just click okay press shift okay and click click the button okay it will create a dot and press here as well same shift press once mouse okay and just drag it a little bit up okay to make exactly one we have to change the y to okay this is for our test case zero zero here okay one zero and we'll make it zero one from four to five we make it same select four exactly the four point shift click shift click okay then drag it okay and uh, select the five to six line and make it two okay we have created three test cases one to two is zero 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 to two is zero zero one two to three is one zero okay and uh, zero one and the last one is one one we have to create we make it from here okay six seven we make it select shift click okay select shift click shift click okay just drag it a little bit up yeah and make it y okay and the same here we make it shift to select shift shift and press shift and press it again okay click it at top okay make it this one also one yeah this is one one in this test case we have we are testing all the four test cases zero zero one zero a zero one and a is one b is one okay now we run this test case okay we check the outputs okay here here it is when zero when a is zero b is zero sum is zero and cara is zero okay in the second test case when a is one b is zero sum is one and carry is zero the third one when a is zero b is one sum is one and carry is zero and when both a and b are one uh, here we need to take the extra time okay there is a small change here we need to make it exactly the seven okay so it run okay now if you look at the fourth case when a is one b is one sum is zero and carry is one okay, in this way we have tested test case one two three four in a single test case file uh, this is how we can this is very good like we have created our test model half adder test half adder model using semilink and the next step is we have created a test harness for that and and also we run the test cases as well thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to mjb channel for more updates thank you very much guys bye for now